गवर्नर अफ ओडिशा प्रोफेसर श्री गणेशी लाल जी चीफ जस्टिस हाई कोर्ट ऑफ ओडिशा एंड चांसलर ऑफ नेशनल लॉ यूनिवर्सिटी ओडिशा डॉक्टर जस्टिस एस मुरलीधर जी मिनिस्टर ऑफ लॉ इन ओडिशा गवर्नमेंट श्री जगन्नाथ सरका जी जज हाई कोर्ट ऑफ ओडिशा श्री जस्टिस सुभाषिष तालापत्र जी वाइस चांसलर ऑफ नेशनल लॉ यूनिवर्सिटी ओडिशा प्रोफेसर बेद कुमारी जी डिस्टिंग्विस्ड गेस्ट मेंबर्स ऑफ द फैकल्टी एंड स्टाफ पेरेंट्स एंड गार्डियंस डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू बी हियर विद द ब्राइट एंड एनर्जेटिक स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ नेशनल लॉ यूनिवर्सिटी ओडिशा इन दिस कन्वर्केशन I congratulate all the students who have been awarded their degrees today. I express my special appreciation for those students who have received medals. The this convocation is also an occasion of happiness for the entire team of NLUO and the families of the students. I appreciate their contribution to the accomplishment of the student. Dear students, this convocation is an occasion to celebrate your achieving in major milestone in your life. Your degree opens new doors for you. It is also an occasion for you to make new resolutions to build a sound career and to fulfill the expectations of your family, society and the nation. Let me emphasize in that fact that all of you are gifted with equal talent and potential those of you who have not received medals need not feel inadequate at all each one of you can create several opportunities and demonstrate your caliber in the future i expect those of you who have been recognized today for your excellence to continue the good work with sustained commitment and sense of purpose ladies and gentlemen i have been told that nluo has adopted some villages in nearby areas for transforming them into child friendly villages engagement of students with village communities will sensitize them to the ground realities faced by millions of indians residing in villages in calculating social awareness and sensitivity among the students is part of their holistic education dear students the motto of your university clearly describes the ideals to be followed by you as duty conscious legal professionals the motto सत्य स्थितो धर्म मीन्स दैट धर्म इज फार्म रिलोटेड इन सत्य और ट्रूथ आई हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट द मोटो ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया स्टेट्स यत धर्म स्तत जय हुईज मीन्स विक्ट्री इज ऑलवेज ऑन द साइड ऑफ धर्म द मोटो ऑफ लॉ यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दैट ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट have a clear linkage because laws and legal studies are nothing but instruments of justice in the indian tradition the word dharma does not mean any specific religion or denomination it means the supreme law of the universal law or the universal law that sustains or supports everything including the individual society and nature In ancient India the two words frequently used to describe courts were dharma sabha the dharma dhikarana for today's modern india our dharma is contained in the constitution of india which is the supreme law of the land the entire legal fraternity including the young students passing out today must abide by the constitution as their sacred text ladies and gentlemen the refers reference of the constitution reminds me of one of the greatest sons of india who was also among the chief 
आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बाबा साहेब डॉक्टर भीमराव आंबेडकर वॉज नॉन फॉर हिज ब्रिलियंस इन मेनी फील्ड्स इन्क्लूडिंग लॉ हिज सेंटर रोल इन द ड्राफ्टिंग ऑफ आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज वेल नोन ही ओवरकेम अनइमेनेजेबल डिफिकल्टीज फॉर अचीव वर्ल्ड क्लास एक्सेलेंस एज एन इंडिविजुअल ही यूज हिज इंडिविजुअल ब्रिलियंस टू प्रमोट द कलेक्टिव कॉज ऑफ सर्फिंग द अंडर प्रिवलेज्ड आई एम एड्रेसिंग यू एज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया बिकॉज डॉक्टर आंबेडकर मेड इट पॉसिबल फॉर सम वन लाइक मी टू रीच वेयर आई एम टू डे डियर स्टूडेंट्स एज यू ऑल नो इंडिया फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल वॉज लेड बाय क्वालिफाइड लॉयर्स इट्स सोच देट ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ लॉयर्स फ्रॉम दो जेनरेशन वी आर फायर्ड विथ द स्पिरिट ऑफ सेक्रीफाइस फॉर द नेशन इन ओडिशा इट इज बट नेचुरल टू रिमेम्बर उत्कल गौरव मधुसूदन दास ही वॉज ए लॉयर एंड वॉज पॉपुलरली रिफर्ड टू एज मधु बारिस्टर हिज बार्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑन ट्वेंटी एट अप्रिल इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज लॉयर्स डे इन ओडिशा For the people of Odisha, Mahatma Gandhi and Madhu Barister are the two most respected icons of our freedom struggle. Great freedom fighters and lawyers like them also upheld the ideals of justice, liberty, equality, and fraternity in order to build a progressive and cohesive society. These ideals have been duly embedded in our constitution. You must remain. stayed fast in our observing the constitutional ideals you should be sensitive to the priorities of the nation you should also make conscious efforts to contribute to those national priorities ladies and gentlemen giving equal opportunity and respect to the vulnerable segments of our population including women should be the highest priority for every indian who is in a position to help fellow citizens i am happy to note that in today's convocation girls have outnumbered boys in obtaining llm and psd they have received nearly equal number of gold medals i have been informed that the number of girls in llb persists is also catching up with that of boys the journey of women lawyers judges and jurists has been challenging yet inspiring a very large number of our under privileged and vulnerable fellow citizens don't even know about their rights and entitlement nor do they have the means to move the courts to seek relief or justice dear students it is your duty to dedicate some part of your professional time to serving the unsub or underprivileged a lot of lawyers have been doing pro bono work community service and advocacy for the marginalized many of them have been very successful and some of them have become justice judges in the supreme court as a culmination of their illustrious legal career mahatma gandhi had said and i quote a true lawyer is one who places truth and service in the first place and the emolument of the profession in the next place only unquote here i must correct a common misperception that mahatma gandhi was not a very successful lawyer in fact he had a flourishing legal practice and a very competent team of clerk and junior of of south africa he sacrificed he sacrificed many to fight for self respect and national honor i am not suggesting that you sacrifice the financial gains of your career 
all I am appealing for is to devote at least a small part of your professional activities to helping the poor and the weak with a sense of genuine compassion. It is rightly said that the law is not just a career, it is a calling. India is moving ahead during the ongoing Amrit Kal with the vision of becoming a devoted, developed nation by 2047. As members of the legal fraternity, you all have to play your role as partners in the socio-economic progress of the country. I am sure that the developed India of 2047 will have many students from this university as legal luminaries and national leaders. With this great expectation, I wish all the young students a very bright future ahead. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Bande Utkala Jana.